reposition the company, like if you're basically enabling decisions when you are talking to corporations, how do you describe in a sentence what you do? Well, what we do is say, tell me more. The three most powerful, potent words in the English language. Mm -hmm. Because when companies come to us and they say, well, we are really just trying to raise money. Right. No, you're not. You're maybe failing to raise money <laughs> or failing to attract capital or failing to be relevant or failing to recognize your position in the marketplace. You're probably failing to understand your unique selling proposition. Yeah. You are probably doing everything, you know, you're saying, you know, uh, unfortunately, I, you know, went to the bathroom on the floor. No, you just didn't wear diapers. Okay. Tell me about the root cause. And then we talk about why you can't manage this. I'm being absurd. But the point is, everybody always talks about what they think they need or what they want. Whether it's Microsoft wanting to grow into content or whether it's Sony wanted to move digital or whether it's McKinsey wanted to figure out how to deliver infrastructure or whether a data center company wanted to be energy as impact. Uh, you know, all of these people, they generally come to us with their problems and we say, those are not your problems. Those are your solutions. And then we say, tell me more. Right. And then we say, show me your 10 magic tricks, the 10 things that you think I could do that would allow you to be successful, prosper, be innovative and uh, flourish and be in flow. And they go, well, you know, we want to talk to any company that does this. No, no. Which company? Why? What have you studied about them? Why are you telling me that they're a target of yours? How have you made it easy for them to say yes? Well, we just think... I don't care what you think. Neither do they. There's an articulate answer about why someone will have a natural flow and a natural integration to buy things from you and make you happy because you're delivering something to them that they need, not what you think they need. So we really drill down to the core of a company, whether it's large or small, and not figure out what they think their problem is. We get them to know that that's their solution. And then we reverse backwards and we build the ecosystem. We build the advisors. We build the structure. We build the unique selling proposition. We make their business plan pragmatic. We teach them to have an alpha customer versus building that they'll come. And then in turn, when they're ready and they've been ready to leave the nest, then we'll build a wonderful group of advisors that will shepherd them through the world and participate, not be names on a bus, on a website, or a deck. And then we'll help drive the value that they get together and they want to report, right? And at any given time that they don't want to do an impact statement or impact measurement, in any given time, they want to do it their way and they just say, no, we just need some introductions. We say, have a nice day because you're not going to be entering mine. So our role is to find companies that are super, super curious about where they're headed or where they want to go. And they're willing to do the work to change their stripes and to feel beneficial to the rest of the universe by defining their impact mission, figuring out what their product and services are, how and to who they're benefiting them, and how we can knock it out of the park and make enough money so our philanthropic uh, goals are met also. Right. So, and we get to say no to most of the companies, but when they do say yes. Uh, it's just a beautiful natural fit. I had one today. That just, we tried to get them out of there and they eventually, we had no choice but to say yes. They were mission aligned, right? They knew what they were headed. They who knew who their customers were. They knew who they wanted to sell and they wanted to buy. And then we said, this is easy work. And they said, does that mean your price goes down? I says, <laughs> no. Goes up. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the reason why we said yes, because we do like to get checks. But the reason why we said yes is because I'm not going to struggle, yeah. right, to try to t chase you around trying to tell you what to do if you would innately don't understand who you're solving for what and to what benefit and to whom. If you don't know that and you really want to know that, that's great. If you just want to raise money or sell some more stuff, have a nice day.
yeah. take your business to 34th Street. So that's how we do it. And we we do grants matchmaking. Uh, we granted $4 million and $100 million tokens to XPRIZE Foundation and Peter Dimandes. We're building tools to decentralize one of the best kept secrets in the world, XPRIZE Foundation, that, you know, leverages, you know, reasonably large sums of money, 10 and 100 Xism to create stuff like, you know, private space travel or cleaning up the carbon in the world or stopping forest fires or, you know, audacious shifting. And we'll continue to grant money and allocate to those through our grant matchmaking organization. So those are the fun things we get to do.